Hello, good morning, dear grade 6 students. How are you doing? Hope you are doing well and okay. Uh, last time, if you remember, we explained industry lesson 5, industry in the Arab world, and we unit 3, lesson 5, industry in the Arab world. We explained some certain stuff about industry. We explained the kinds of industry, which there are three primitive uh, statistics and modern industry. We also explained what are the elements or ingredients of the of industry in the Arab world. That all that we finished the lesson today. We're gonna take a practice. We're gonna take a practice and exercise on that lesson. So pay attention with me. Get try to get a notebook and a paper and a pen and write after me because this exercise is pretty important. So pay attention. Uh, so this is lesson five, unit three, lesson five, industry in the Arab world. Perfect. Uh, we have some exercises, some questions here. We're gonna answer them together. So don't worry. Wait now. Okay. So what does what what is meant by the following terms? What is meant by the following terms? So what does what does each word mean? So what what is the meaning? This is what what the question means. So what is meant by industry, guys? What do you think? I think what is industry? Okay. Okay. What do you think? Industry is turning. Turning raw material, raw material into more, into more useful materials for human. So turning raw materials into more useful materials for human. Like I told you, like cotton. So we get cotton, which is raw material, something which is unmodified, unchanged. We take it from the nature. So turning, take it, get it into a factory. So make some changes, like cotton, and make t-shirts, make trou trousers, make a lot of stuff. So this process, which is to get raw materials and turn it into something useful, something very useful. So we call it industry. That's perfect. Number two, what is raw material? Okay, so what is meant by raw materials? What does the word raw material mean? What do you think? I'll leave you for five seconds. Think raw materials. We just explain it here. Okay, so raw material. So what does the word raw material mean? Raw materials. Raw materials, it means what? Great, perfect. It means the material the material we take it. Sorry. Yes, uh, so raw materials means materials found in specific term. So, materials found in nature with no benefit. Maybe it's no benefit or little. So material found in nature, the material we get it like cotton, like uh, anything material we get it usually from nature, uh, or we plant it from agriculture, from uh, from crops, 
we get it, maybe it's not that useful. Maybe like cotton. What, what actually? What, what would you do uh, with the cotton without 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 uh, t-shirts or without making it into industry and without getting something something useful instead? So that which is unchanged. If you get a cotton, maybe use it little use. It has little benefit, little advantage, but not that big. So industry makes it very very useful and very very. Uh, beneficial for you. This is number two. So let's get to number three. Okay, let's erase this first. Guys, right after me, please. Because it's very important. The number three, permanent industry. What does the word Permanent industry mean. So, what do you think? Guys, think. What do you think? Permanent industry, what does it mean? Amazing. So, it means crafts. Craft. Crafts means works. That. Works that do not do not rely on big machines and last time we explained it with with some examples like uh, a lot of stuff so works works that do not rely on big machines like what like what guys Anything primitive, like maybe pottery to make, to make, for example, to use dust to make things. Like I'm gonna show you a picture here. Okay. Yes. This this picture. Yes. This we call it pottery. Pottery. So what does it mean? It means to yeah to use dust or clay clay which is like this material to use to make something useful. This is we call we call it permanent. This picture which is this craft we call it permanent industry. So the word uh, here is permanent industry. Number two we have. Modern industry. What does the word modern industry mean? Modern industry. So it means works or crafts. Crafts or works that rely. Rely means needs on technical experience and big machines. Big machines. And technical, technical experiences. Like I told you before, like extracting oil in, 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 in Gulf countries, extracting oil and petrochemical industries. So these we need like very, very huge uh, factories, very, very, very huge machines to make this kind of industry. So what do we call it? Modern. Modern. And by the way, this kind of industry is the, the industry that yeah makes money. Makes a huge amount of money. That's nice. So let's go to next exercise. Question number two. So here, yes. Raw materials are divided into three types. Raw materials are divided. Last time, if you remember, we explained raw materials and the types of raw materials. What do you think? They are three. Amazing. I guess some will tell me vegetable raw 
material vegetable raw material like what like sugar cane vegetable raw material like sugar cane amazing number two what do you think i guess someone else will tell me that we have as well vegetable raw material we have animal raw material animal raw material like what guys what do you think like what anything we get it from animals like fur like uh, okay like leathers 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 that we get to make to make like bags like pack bag uh, all that kind of in the street so amazing number vegetable raw material animal raw material number three what do you think amazing number three metal raw material metal raw material like what like what like gold gold we get gold like very very like it's just one one brick you know one thing so we get it into industry we make some changes on gold so to make what to make jewelry and all the things so gold like copper like iron so all these are metal raw material so what are the three types or raw material are divided into three types what are they they are three number one vegetable raw material number two animal raw material number three amazing metal raw material like gold that's very nice let's move to the next question question number three okay what are the main available and available elements of industry in the Arab world i told you before that any any industry in the world needs some certain elements some like if you're gonna make a meal for example if you're gonna make anything, you need ingredients. Ingredients means stuff that you, you will use to make something. So what are the ingredients that they are in the Arab world that, uh, that, is, that are necessary in industry? What are they, the, the ingredients? Amazing. They are more than three, but we're gonna write just three. Number one, labor. Labor, it means, yes, work, and people who work. For industry, we need labor. Labor like work, and people who work. So we need people to work to make something. And if we don't have people, if we don't have labor, some people who are working, we're gonna get, we will get nothing. So number two, we need what we need, that the things that are in the other world, natural, natural resources in our uh, in our arab world the arab world is very rich and we have a lot of this stuff so natural resources it means the things that we do not do anything to get it just they are in the nature so allah put it there to use it that's it so natural resources the things that we get we get it from the nature to make uh, or to make industry or to do it to use it in industry. Number three, what else do we need? Okay, what do you think? Labor, natural in the resources. What else, guys? What do you think? Labor, natural resources. Okay, what do you think? Amazing. So uh, we have labor. Uh, natural resources and number three we could take uh, okay just uh, we could take so 
we could take transpose, so it dies. I think I might have forgotten them. Transport, we need transport to move and to move goods and services from a place to another place. We could take industry, we could take energy, energy, energy sources, and we could take as well markets. We need markets to we need markets to sell and buy. So industry is divided into three types. So I leave the, you this question as homework. So your homework will be this question. Industry is the question number four is divided into three types. What are they? So what are the three types of industry? I think some of you might know this question, which, which is not very hard. So plus homework one, this question, homework number two, we have because this is the last session that we have in this week. So check also the school website for the assignment. There are some exercises to practice more in that lesson on the school website. Try to log in and find that exercise and to, to do it. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining me. Try to go, do not forget, study hard, you're not in vacation, so study hard, do your homework, and if you have any question, if you have anything that you don't understand, just WhatsApp me, I'm available anytime, and see you in another video, inshallah. Goodbye.